in the last decade, European studies have shown promising efficacy of a synthetic analog of ACTH for treatment of nephrotic syndrome as both primary therapy and second and third line therapy for resistant nephrotic syndrome. In America, we do not have the synthetic analog of ACTH available for therapy, but we do have a highly purified natural form of ACTH called Acthar gel, which is FDA approved for treating nephrotic syndrome. And yet to date, there's no modern published experience on using Acthar gel for treatment of nephrotic syndrome. We therefore performed a retrospective case series of the first 24 patients treated in America with Acthar gel by prescription outside of research settings for treatment of nephrotic syndrome. What we saw in this cohort was that the majority of cases of Acthar gel prescriptions were used for resistant nephrotic syndrome, and the overwhelming, um, uh, overwhelming lead diagnosis was idiopathic membranous nephropathy. 11 of the 24 patients treated in this cohort had idiopathic membranous nephropathy, and all but one had resistant membranous nephropathy, having failed two or three previous therapies. Of those 11 patients with idiopathic membranous nephropathy, nine achieved either complete or partial remission over an average of eight months of follow-up. That included three complete remissions and six partial remissions. We didn't see that same rate of response in patients without membranous nephropathy. Overall, of the 11 patients of the 24 in this cohort who responded to therapy, nine had idiopathic membranous nephropathy, and all nine had failed two prior therapies. Adverse events were, were limited to only six patients, which were steroid like side effects that abated with cessation of therapy and there were no significant infections. Overall, what this retrospective case series suggests is that Acthar gel may be a particularly promising therapy for idiopathic membranous nephropathy and in particular for idiopathic membranous nephropathy that is resistant to prior immunosuppressive therapy.